In this episode of Mighty Car Mods, there's a key that's coming to a city a little bit closer to home. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods. Now, if there's one thing that Marty and I absolutely love, it's snacks. And also right up there is Japanese snacks. And probably even above that is Japanese cars. And somewhere even on par with that, maybe even above, is small turbo nuggets from Japan. That's right. And a few years ago, we went on an adventure uh, that we filmed that was called Key to the City, where we went and we drifted a Mira. My excitement when Mr. Sato pulled out this car that was left in the backyard in the junk pile of his car lot, uh, my excitement was up there. But we bought this little piece of scrapu for just a couple of hundred dollars and decided to have an adventure with it. And now the adventure continues as we do a rebuild of the key to the city mirror. But before we can continue with the story, we need to go back to the place where all good car journeys begin, all the best automotive adventures, and that is back to Japan. We made our way to Asahikawa in the North Island of Hokkaido in Japan, along with our mate and interpreter Steve, to meet Mr. Sato, who runs Car Shop Zenith. We're at Car Shop Zenith, of course, which is our where we always find a variety of interesting and wonderful cars. Can we buy a car from you today? Mm. Oh, okay. Let's see what we have. No. 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 Can, is there anything we can get? Do you have anything? How much is this? This is Yeah, but it's going to be out of the back. There's something. Something out the back? Yeah. Back, back, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Back guy, the back guy. Back. He said he's got one that's perfect for you, but it's out the back. Okay. Let's go out the back. Amongst the skylines, WRXs, Euro imports, obscure JDM box like utility cars, and all sorts of makes and models, we found this an L200 Daihatsu Mira TRXX x 4 It's all-wheel drive, turbocharged, and sporting bright yellow plates, which means it's classified as a key car. Hey mate. Hello mate. Oh, I thought we were done with Daihatsu's to be honest. Hell no, never. It was about this point that Marty started his usual habit of falling head over heels in love with this Japanese nugget that no one wanted and scheming on how he could make it a more permanent part of the MCM garage. Seriously awesome half cut material. Everything from the front's fine. It's got a little bit of rust in the back. It's relatively clean up here. You could use the door trims, the power windows. You could you'd get the seats and everything sent over. Be awesome. Of course, you've got the motor, which is the most important bit because it's a turbo charger. Next up, we headed to meet the 88s, who are a bunch of mates who have their own drift crew and garage. We asked if they would help us set up our little key car to attend a drift event that was happening the next day. How are you? How are you? <laughs> this is so cool! Yeah. <laughs> can, can we can we can the dish? Come on, I'm going to it. Yes, we can. <laughs> we're gonna drill out the bottom holes, dude. And we're gonna pull them out. Can we? Yep. We worked with the 88s to get our little key car drift ready, even though this car would never be ready to drift. Turn the, turn the wheel the full way around the side. The wheel will actually go on its edge. So the reason they put the camber on there is because when they turn the, when they turn the steering wheel over, the wheel will then actually sit straight on top of the rod. Yeah, giving them more grip on the front while the back slides. Soon we were on our way to the track, where our little key car would be put to the test. We made our way out onto the track to try our hands at all-wheel drive turbo key car drifting. And while it wasn't graceful, the locals seemed to think it was pretty entertaining. Okay, we doing this? Yeah. <laughs> We 
headed home and I had a little surprise for Marty. I mean, it doesn't have to finish with the car being destroyed, you know, does it really? Yeah, but ours got put on a truck and, and... Well, it did get put on a truck. It did. But, Martin, imagine if instead this is how the story ended. Two mates go to Japan, make a film. Yeah. One of them doesn't really care much for the car, but his mate loves the car. After a couple of days in Japan, his mate goes into the toilet. Meanwhile, the other dude, who didn't really like the car that much, rang the truck driver and goes, dude, divert that car from the scrap heap. Yeah. And at the same time, the other dude, who by now you must be thinking is a pretty awesome dude, then also called Import Monster and organised an import clearance to Australia and a shipping container and then brought the car back to Australia. Imagine what? if that is how the story ended. Can you imagine? Dude. Can you imagine what? Are you being serious? Dude, that little mirror right now is in Melbourne in a shipping container ready to be picked up. Yes, it's been chopped. It's the only way I could legally get it in here. But dude. Our, no. Dude. That drift mirror no, from forget Japan. Forget this for a second. Our, our, our drift it's mirror. It's in Australia right now. What? It is here. It is here, ready to be picked up <laughs> yes, and continue its serious? life. You know, I'm serious. It is here. It is in Melbourne. I got that email yesterday. I'd gotten back in touch with Steve and Mr Sato and arranged for the car to make its way back to Australia. By now, it was the middle of winter in Japan and the car had to make the long journey from Asaikawa all the way down to Mi Prefecture to Import Monster. Rob and the guys are going to strip the entire car, package it up and send it to Australia. Oh yeah, and cut it in half as well because it's illegal to bring it into Australia in one piece. Months later, it arrived at Ichiban where it was put into storage, but it wasn't going anywhere until we could find a local shell that was good enough for our mad transplant of epic proportions. So I'm on my way to see the guys at Ichiban. They've been looking after the actual Mira from Key to the City. It's sitting up there on the rack in two halves because there's good stuff in the front and in the back. So I'm in my Mad Ford Transit with my Mad Trailer. And I'm going to put my Mad Half Cut onto the back of it and drive it back to the shed. There is a lot of work ahead, but I am so excited to finally be able to unwrap this half cut, which has travelled over 6,000 kilometres to make its way to us. So now it's time to come with us on the ultimate unboxing. It has been years since we've seen this mirror that we bought for $300 in country Japan. And now it's finally here in Sydney, ready to be unwrapped. This has been a long time coming. It has been, Martin. And I've never had a whole cut, which I'm calling this because it's two half cuts. That's good. It's a one cut. Did you just come up with 0. that now? 0.5 cut. No, I realised that I kept calling, calling this a half cut and that someone's going to correct me and say that it's not a half cut because you've got two halves. But it's still a half cut if you've got two halves, But it's right? cut in half. Yeah. That's why it's called a half yeah, cut. Yeah, I think we're getting a bit too, too crazy, but... Martin, we have both cuts. The question is, do you want to open the engine side first or the back side and which is which? I actually don't know which is which. I, I can guess, but I don't want to. I think it would be more fun to, uh, to just find out for ourselves. That must be the engine, I reckon. This one? Yeah. So this is this is unchanged since it probably did some quarantine type stuff at some stage. Otherwise, it's as it left Japan. This is pretty epic, man. This is exciting. Wow. It's literally like opening a Christmas present. But there's a K car inside. <laughs> Do it. <gasps> oh. Ah! oh, wait, that's our stickers. It's the doors, dude. Wow, this that's is the awesome. best unboxing of all time. Wow, a lot of effort's gone into wrapping this up. That's amazing. Isn't it incredible? All this because you're not allowed to import a Daihatsu mirror. Yeah, I know. Crazy, huh? Yeah. But you're all the extra this. labor and all the extra craziness. Yep. Mum, what's under there? That's the that's the back of the cut. This oh, is the back. You were wrong. I was wrong. We should have bet on it. 
could have won myself an ice cream. Dude, you would have had gay time for days. And instead, I ain't getting zip. It still smells like Japan. Does it? Yep. Soy sauce and sweat. Yep. Like that secondhand car smell. Secondhand car smell. Oh, look at this. Yes. That's awesome. Cannot believe how much wrapping there is. Dude, the wheels are in here. The are wheels they? are in here. Where? Look. Oh, yes. Are they snow tires? I think so. That'll be good for drifting. Is that the tailgate? This is a bit that I'm actually very, very excited about. Got it? Yep. Going down? Yep. Oh, is that all the rubbers? Rubbers, jack, everything. Chamois from the dude who owned it before. Rear trims. Japanese bumper bondage bar. tape. Japanese bondage tape. That's the rear cut. Is this side skirts? Yep. Dude, these wheels are so light. Amazing. They're amazingly light. Do you want to put that over there with the others? Rear diff, man. That's what makes time travel possible. That's exciting. Look at it all. Cut the floor mats, the, the petrol tank, literally the whole here? car. What's this? That da is that dash bits? That's in interior trims. Yep. More interior trims. More interior trims, I think. They can go over there. All individually wrapped. This is just like a big game of Lego, isn't it? Yep. It's just going to be a big puzzle. So we'll, we'll recycle all the cardboard and throw all this out, and then we'll be left with a whole bunch of mad parts. Door trims, boot trims, diff. That's awesome. So that's the back end, Martin. It is. I've waited a long time to do this. What's this here, Martin? Lots of bondage tape, lots of Japanese stuff. Imagine if this just wasn't even our car in here. It's just like something else by accident. I was slightly worried about that, hey. Oh, here's another door, Martin. Oh, that was a hop of excitement. Were you worried? Nope. They're heavy doors, aren't they? Very heavy. Power windows and I guess some... It's kind of odd that my arm sweat and your arm sweat's on there, like on the door. And a lot of other people's too, Martin. Oh, it is. This is a pass the parcel. Take a seat. Each time it opens, I think it's about to reveal something else. And then it doesn't. Just excited Look at to it. see that. Look at it. Nuggety goodness. He's smiling at us. Hey. Oh man, look, the two seats there. We can almost get in this and drive it. Look at this. Quite an art to packing this and also packing a half cut so that nothing gets damaged. Yeah. That bonnet's all wrapped up. It can stay that way, I guess. And Martin, you can do the honors, my friend. Hey. Look at it. What is that? Astro products. Was that like that protecting is. this or something? Or? I think it might have been, yeah. Look at it, man. There it is, in all its glory. What How cool is that? a nugget. All drive. All drive nugget. Gonna be fun. A big fun job. What's next, Martin? Like, what happens after we pull all of this stuff off? So we pull, we pull it all... Because we're not allowed to just weld this car back together. No, we pull everything off. Everything that we can use, we keep and we organise somewhere. Everything that we can't use goes in the recycling, scrap metal or bin. Back in the scrappoo bin back where this car bin. was destined all those years ago. Absolutely. It was scrap. It was scrap it was back scrap. then. Yep, it was worth nothing. And somebody in Japan is going, what? Some Australians made a film about it. Yeah. What? Yeah. They're importing it back to their own country at yeah. considerable cost. These guys are crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, that's that's it. And then some stuff we won't need to use anymore, like some of this ratty old wiring will get replaced. Stuff like ignition leads and all this. So a lot of this engine, I don't, I don't even know which bits we're going to use of this engine, really. Um, it should be empty. It would have been drained for content. Yes. Um, yeah, so we just it's just archaeology, man. It's going to be car parts everywhere. And then, But the next major part of it, is to find a car to put this into. Next time on Mighty Car Mods. This is clean. Yeah, this is this clean. This is clean. Let's go.
we're in a 40 kilometer an hour zone, which is great because that's this vehicle's top speed. So in order to get this project happening, we had to find ourselves a local shell and we have this.